Hey, welcome back to Fox and Robin Recording, and today it's story time. Um, basically, the story is we had an unwanted visitor. Um, you don't think about it, and I keep looking out for him. So if you see me looking for stuff, I'm looking out for something. Um, anyways, we had a visitor, um, and the visitor was a mouse. Now today, I was sitting down in the studio, minding my business, working on stuff, and all of a sudden, I saw something run behind one of my amplifiers, and I thought, oh, it's one of the dogs. And then I thought to myself, aren't the dogs upstairs? They could be. So anyways, I didn't think much of it, kept working, kept working, and saw it again. And when I saw it the second time, I saw something with a little gray tail. Now, this little gray tail was the tail of a mouse. Um, and he's still down here. We're still looking for him. And hopefully, we can figure this all out, and he doesn't chew up anything that's important. Um, we went and got some glue traps and laid them down everywhere that we could think of where he might be, where the mice, mouse might be living, might be coming in and out, places where we saw him. But as we went around the studio, we noticed he had been everywhere. You know, there's little droppings here or there, top of the organ, you know. Basically, I had a jar of candy down here and I was trying to figure out who was eating my little jar of candy. Because it's one of those things like I have it for when clients come, myself, anything you could think of and it was weird i was like who's eating my jar of candy i thought maybe my kids were getting into it you know coming down here eating candy when i wasn't home or whatever but uh, that was not the case so kind of figured you know it's the mouse we pulled the bookshelf over here behind me pulled it out and there's a bunch of candy and wrappers all behind it that our little friend the mouse had uh gotten into and dumped behind the uh the wall or between the wall and that bookshelf so you think everything is clean until and sealed and stuff until you get a mouse so the adventure is figure out where the mouse is coming from figure out how to get rid of the mouse and like i said we put glue traps they may or may not work um i've had my dog try to look for it maybe he could find it find where the mouse is at you know, he may not catch it, but at least he'll uh, kind of get a good idea where the mouse is at. So, um, it's just another adventure in the life in the day of owning a recording studio, especially underground in the basement. And the fall weather in Colorado gets colder, so animals come inside. And that's kind of the case in many states and many places where seasons change a lot. So, um, be on the lookout for things in your own studio. And you know what? Thanks for liking and subscribing to our video you liked them you hit the subscribe hit the bell we appreciate it we are super grateful for everybody who has done that and those who are new or just seeing this maybe the first time and enjoyed our little story or enjoy our other videos go check them out on our youtube page and some of our social media places and you know what hit the like hit the bell and hit the subscribe and we'll see you next time